Hello, hello, how are you? Nice to uh, be here with you. Um, welcome to the summit. Um, uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, it's the moment of crisis when the human uh, spirit is being challenged. The human race is being challenged uh, because we, uh, we are dealing with uh, the unknown. And um, we, with this situation, we have um, realized that we're, we're just one, which is human race. Now we are in every, you know, in all the world we are, we are having a, to stay home. We are having to stay positive. We are having to um, regulate ourselves to feel much better, to help our family to feel to feel better. So every everything have a reason. Everything have a reason, and we need to start um, uh, asking why is it happening? What this is? What is this for? What do I have to learn from this? It's very important to uh, instead of feeling fear and, and feel uh, you know uh, that you don't have any choices, just start thinking what what do you you have to learn from this situation from this crisis um, and for sure you will find good answers and the answers will surprise you a lot um, although we have spiritually or mentally a uh, grow uh, we need to to stay uh, mindful and to um, and, and because we even when we have that growth we need we we get we get anxious. We get, we are human, so we can get fear. We can have fear, uh, feel helpless. Uh, normally, uh, in 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 crisis, is when the our real understanding of how work how life works is being challenged. So even when we have um, many years uh, working with our personal spiritual growth. This is a challenging situation, and I invite you to um, to be mindful and to be uh, to to learn from this and to discover why is this happening. What do you have to learn from this situation? Um, and we have to understand that we 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 there are things when we are not in control. So it's important that we um, we uh, start um, dealing with the answers, the anxiety that uh, that um, happens when uh, we have we cannot control things. So this is I, I, I have these 10 tips that I will give you is what I learned when uh, in Mexico City was the big earthquake in, in 2017, which it was very, very big and very scary. So I I had to come up with some things to stay uh, stay fine to stay with hope with stay um, calm still so these are my because these are my 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 10 tips i will try to be brief uh, i i did uh, you know i did i did this live but i just realized that it did not record all the live so i had to i for that reason i'm 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 gonna out loud I'm uploading this this video, which I'm recording after the live because it's not complete. It's just four minutes or something like that. So my first tip to um, to that, that I can give you is to meditate. I know there are many people have told me I I cannot you know put my my mind in blank. No, it's not that. You don't, you, mind never can be, you know, without thoughts. It's like a monkey we have here and he's thinking, thinking, thinking. So we need to focus on one thing. So it, it has to be in, in the breath. We have to breathe. And, um, and one tip that I can give you is you don't have to do it for hours. You can do it for one minute, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes a day. But it's important you do it because it, it will give you calmness. So I, you know, inhale and exhale, exhale, and you say, you start counting. For example, you breathe and say, and you, you, you exhale and say one, and then again two, and then three. And you start counting the, from one to 10. 
if in that counting you get distracted thinking that you have to call your boss or that you have a pending uh, whatever you start all over again from one so it will help you to control your 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 crazy mind because we all have crazy minds so it's important you start to control that the second the second um uh, tip that i can give you is be grateful you know every morning when you wake up the first thing you have to do is think about 10 things you are grateful for that morning. It can be from your, you know, your, your warm bed, you have a house, you have food, you have a family, you have pets, you are alive, you are, you know, you breathe, you, uh, you know, whatever. You have to feel grateful for everything in your life because if you are watching this, you are in advantage uh, of uh, many people in the world that doesn't have a house, doesn't have a food, doesn't have, you know, shelter, uh, and you have to be grateful for. And before night, before sleep, you have to do the same, do the same. You know, think, reflect back on the day and think, that, you know, be grateful for the things uh, that you live that day or whatever you want to to be thankful for, just be grateful. It's very important. You, your life, that changed my life forever when I start doing that. And uh, in during the day, you try to be mindful and, and feel grateful for whatever is, is happening during the day. The third point will be uh, that, that I told you in the teaser is that use your number one superpower, which is your mind. You know, uh, your there are uh, higher human, you know, the human, the higher, the the higher faculties of the human being are several, like memory, intuition, and one of them is imagination. With the mind doesn't know which is real or you know what's happening or what is happening just in your mind, in your imagination. So I invite you to use your mind, your imagination to visualize a nice future full of love, full of health, uh, happy people, you, you know, just your, the world and you and your family, your loved ones to be fine. So visualization, visualization is an important part of our well-being. Use it in your in your favor, use it with positive thinking, with a nice image, images in your mind, you know, imagine great and wonderful things in the future. It's, it's, this will change your life because we are creating beings. We create our reality with our, with our mind. So imagine, imagining great things will help you to create those things. Remember that um, the, 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 as creating beings, we, as what we are giving with our mind, with our thoughts, our feelings, will come back in the same frequency, in the same vibration. So the universe, if you're giving a love, if you're giving joy, you know, through your imagination, you're imagining, you know, joyful situations, happy situations, the universe or the energy or the source of God or whatever you say, you, you call it, will give you more reasons to feel the same. So it's very important you control that. And you, you have that control. So um, uh, the other, the, the fourth tip uh, is, be careful with your inner talk. We tend to be, you know, that voice, we have two voices, the good and the, and the bad. There is a voice that is telling you, you are not good enough, or this is very bad, it won't, this won't get better, whatever. It's that voice that is, it make it makes us weak. So you have to realize about that voice and you have to control it. But you, how you control it? You, you, you cannot, you know, you cannot shut up. You know, say, shut up. No, you say, okay, I listen to you, but I choose to 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 think this. I choose to to stay with this thinking, to stay with this inner talk. 
Uh, there is a book called What You Say When You Talk To Yourself. I don't remember the author, but it's very good. I recommend it to you. I bought it in Amazon Kindle. Uh, uh, the, the five point, the five tip will be eat healthy. It's very important to eat healthy in this situation. Uh, to um, I'm a, an advocate of the keto diet. Uh, I the keto diet has changed my life, and I to, this morning I was uh, watching a video of Dr. Hill. Uh, he he lives in Venezuela, and he said that uh, the the and I I have heard in, to several doctors that say that the keto uh, lifestyle, the keto diet. Uh, strong you know make your immune system strong and that, that there are some uh, advice in china to uh, you know to motivate people to start eating keto what you have to eat you eat if it grows in the land in the in the earth or it runs you you eat it you know animal protein you know fish chicken cow uh, pork uh, you 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 uh, eat a lot of pl plenty of vegetables, not starchy vegetables, just green vegetables, and and berries. You know, fruits as berries and nuts, also nuts. You can eat nuts; it's very good. Um, and and good uh, fat like butter, like olive oil, coconut oil, lard, uh, the natural fats. So um, um, I invite you to uh, avoid. You know, sugar, avoid processed food. Processed food makes us make us sick. It lowers our immunity. So we need to be uh, really strong to, uh, if we got the virus, if we have a good immunity, we are gonna, we're gonna be better. Um, some people say, I, I have read in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the social media that say that, peop, that the virus attack people with, you know, older people, like 65 or over or 6, 70. Uh, but I just read about a, a lady in, in Italy that she's 95 and she recovered from the virus. So um, the other, the other I, and I also read about an athlete of 34 that died. So it, it depends on your immunity. And, and it's important to eat healthy. So uh, be mindful what, what, you're, uh, what you're eating. And I know that uh, being, staying at home can be, we can canalize our anxiety, you know, eating a lot. Don't eat a lot. Get distracted. I will, I will, I will give you more tips. So I, I, to, to get, uh, uh, to, be, to be fine. Okay, so the, the point number six will be working out. I know you can say, no, I don't have the machines of the gym. I don't have the weights. The workout is, in this moment, is to have more energy, to be uh, with a better mood, because movement will help you with that. You can do, you know, jump the rope. You can do jumping jacks, push-ups, squats, you know, planks. So things that you don't need any equipment, you can do it and do it every day. First thing in the morning after your, you know, great, 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 uh, do your uh, gratitude ritual, then you go to workout and then you take a shower and start your day. It will give you more energy, more, it will, give, will make you feel much better. Um, number seven will be be creative. You know, pay mandalas, draw, knit, cook, learn how to prepare a, a, your favorite dessert, uh, write, I'm a writer too. So now with all these many, many, many ideas have come to my mind to write a novel. So write, or probably you like poems, you like a novel, or you are gonna, uh, you, want, you want to write a nonfiction book. Now is the time, be, be creative. Um, uh, you can start planning the, that business idea that you never have time to, uh, you know, to start. So it's time now to probably start planning that. So that will be good. Um, um, and that will be the seven. The, the number eight will be learn something new. I love this. Uh, in, uh, for example, a, a language. There is a, a, a website called uh, Duolingo and you can learn any language. 
right there for free. So go to Duolingo and learn a new language, uh, a new skill, whatever. Uh, use, uh, for example, I love design. There are many, many apps where you can design things like Canva, like uh, Big Monkey, and you can start, you know, designing your post for social media and, you know, using your creativity to share the goodness with people. Uh, also, for example, my, my daughter is learning how to, to read tarot. And she's she's very excited because she's learning how to do it and she's sharing that knowledge with her friends and now she's reading the cards to their, to her friends, which is good. She's you know learning something new and having fun with the, with her friends, you know, with, by the uh, there is um well by FaceTime and WhatsApp or whatever. So uh, uh the number nine is will be is you know watch funny movies or videos. Uh, laughing, laugh is a great therapy for anxiety. Uh, you know, we need to you, to fill our mind with positive things, with you know, with with joy. So well, there are plenty of movies, right there in Netflix or in you know, open TV, whatever, where that where you with the cho choose uh, funny. Uh, movies, you know, comedy, not, we're not, we, we don't want to see drama. So, uh, and there are many videos in YouTube, like, you know, very funny videos. So, uh, you know, laughing is very therapeutic. And we, it fills our, our heart with joy. So we need to start, um, to start uh, watching the uh, things that make, make us laugh and feel happier and feel, you know, joyful. So, uh, this is very easy to do. So when you finish your activities, if you're, you know, you're doing home office or you have, you know, to clean your house and cook or whatever, after that, you, this, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> keep together with your family or you're alone if you want to, to do it and, and watch funny movies. And the last one, number 10, will be drink a lot of teas. You know, herbal teas are very relaxing, very calming. There are teas like uh, Tila, Azar, Valerian, El El Lavender, which can help you to feel calmer, to, to, to have, you know, to, to be relaxed. And you can, you know, uh, uh, prepare a cup of tea and uh, sit in your in your living room and read a nice book, a book that makes you feel good and enjoy that cup of tea. So these are my 10 tips. Uh, remember that you are creating beings. Uh, we are so powerful that we are connected with the source of everything and we are part of it and we have the same creative power. So I invite you to um, to be mindful of uh, what you are uh, thinking, what you are feeling. The, the there is a cycle of creation and an inner guidance. When you are feeling uh, sad, angry, when you're feeling bad, bad is any you know any any feeling that makes you feel bad. Uh, just stop and say why I, what I am thinking that is making me feel like that. So you start being like a like a police of your mind. So uh, you you say, ah, oh, okay, I'm feeling angry because I remember that this and this happened. And for that reason, I felt that. So that's the emotional guidance that you have. And you can um, uh, be more mindful and have a better control of your thoughts. And that will make you feel better. Because when you are, your thoughts, you know, uh, um, your thoughts take you to to have feelings that takes you to take actions that will take you to your results so if you are having good thoughts uh, you know go, uh, it will it will uh, improve all the cycle of of creation so be very mindful with that uh, happiness is internal uh, there is a book called uh, ha happy for any reason of Marcy Shimov is a great book and she she rather talks about why we should be you know we to be happy we 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 don't we don't need any reason to be happy just because we're alive and we have to be happy so I um, I recommend you that book um, happiness is a decision that you take every day so I invite you to feel happy to 
to look for reasons to feel happy every day and share that with your loved ones and with the people around you. Uh, well, well, thank you to, for watching this. I wish you a wonderful day and remember to live with joy. Be fine. Bye-bye.